Cartesian plane with axis. In this module, you will learn about graph and Cartesian plane with axis. How will you describe the position of the lamp on your study table to another person? Consider that the lamp placed on the table. Choose two adjacent edges, SR and PS. Then, draw perpendiculars on the edges, SR and PS, from the position of the lamp and measure the lengths of these perpendiculars. Let the length of these perpendiculars be 30 cm and 20 cm respectively. Now, the position of the lamp from the left edge, PS, is 20 cm and from the lower edge, SR, is 30 cm. This can also be written as 20, 30, where 20 represents the perpendicular distance of the lamp from edge, PS and 30 represents the perpendicular distance of the lamp from edge SR. This type of locating things was the beginning of the subject known as graphs. This system of fixing a point with the help of two measurements, one with vertical and another with horizontal, is known as Cartesian system. The word Cartes is taken from René Descartes and is named as Cartesian system in his honor. The two axes X and Y are called as Cartesian axes. In this rough map, can you tell us where the boy is, where the museum is, where the mall is, where the bottle is, and where the temple is? Is it easy? No. So how can we locate the position of the boy, the museum, the mall, the bottle and the temple correctly? Let us first draw parallel horizontal lines with a distance of one unit from each other on this map. Let the bottom line be AX. Now try to express the position of the boy, the museum, the mall, the bottle and the temple. We can say that the boy and the museum are on the first horizontal line. That is, both of them are one unit away from the bottom line AX. Still, we are not able to locate their position exactly. There is some confusion for us yet. In the same manner, it is difficult for us to locate the exact positions of the mall, the bottle and the temple because they lie on different parallel lines. So, to get rid of this confusion, let us now draw the vertical lines with a distance of one unit from each other in the map. Let the leftmost vertical line be AY, then it will look as shown. Now, with the help of both the horizontal and vertical lines, we can locate the given objects. First, locate the position of the boy. He is one unit away from the vertical line AY and one unit away from the horizontal line AX. Hence, his position is represented by a point 1, 1. Similarly, the position of the museum is represented by the point 4, 1. The position of the mall is 2, 2. The position of the bottle is 4,3 and the position of the temple is 3,4. Similarly, by using this method, any object can be located using horizontal and vertical axis. Now, after learning about graph and Cartesian plane and axis, let us learn the coordinate system. Let x dash o x and y dash o y be the two number lines intersecting each other perpendicularly at zero. 
they will divide the whole plane of the paper into four parts which we call quadrants the line x dash o x is called the x axis the line y dash o y is called the y axis the point o is called the origin thus the origin is the point of intersection of x axis and y axis this is called the cartesian coordinate system to mark a point write the x coordinate or the number on the horizontal axis first and then the y coordinate or the number on the vertical axis the first number of the pair is called the x coordinate or abscissa the second number of the pair is called the y coordinate or ordinate let us revise all that we have learned in the module cartesian plane with axis